Hey everybody, welcome to Franny Square and to the start of a new series called Crochet the Runway. So I have to tell you, after last week's tutorial where we made the crocheted bag out of a clear bag, I, my creative juices were just flowing. I was thinking there are so many fashion trends out there that we can mimic or make our own using our crochet skills and really step up our wardrobe and our accessories. Now, if you haven't seen that last tutorial, I'll put a link right here that was a lot of fun and there are so many possibilities of what you can make using the ideas presented in that tutorial. And that's the way these tutorials will go. I will present an idea and I'll show you how I made mine, but you can make these things your own so easily. And I actually look forward to seeing how you do that. So when you make these projects, please send pictures for Crochet and Tell, because as we always say, we get so much inspiration from one another. Today's tutorial was born of a few ideas. First, I did see some pieces for sale and on runways but second, I had a few pair of jeans that I haven't been wearing and I was thinking, maybe I'll give them away, maybe I'll sell them on Poshmark. I wasn't really sure. And then it came to me. Maybe I'll just change them up, make them into a new pair of jeans, and then I can get more use out of them. So that's what we're doing today. I took a pair of old jeans and I crocheted a trim on the bottom and around the pockets. I'm gonna show you some pictures here. And I kept it pretty simple just a little trim around the pockets and a trim along the hem edge. But there are so many possibilities for this. For example, I just started making a flower and I thought, oh, I could put this near the pocket or I could make a few flowers where I put, the, put them along the side of the jean. And I used a pretty sparkly yarn. I thought that would dress it up a little bit and then kept it simple with a pair of sneakers and a t-shirt. You could throw in a blazer, you could do so many things, and you could change your jeans in so many ways. This project is easy, it's quick, you don't need a lot of yarn. It's a great project for scrap yarn, and it's a great way to give your old jeans some new life. So let's get started. Okay, so for this project, you're gonna want the pair of jeans that you want to do the crocheted edge on whatever yarn you'd like to use. I thought I'd be fun and go sparkly and maybe dress these up a little bit. This is an ice yarn that I got in the mixed lots. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, I did a whole video on our mixed lots, worth it. So you can go take a look at that. And I got this yarn there. You'll need something to puncture holes in your jeans. I have an awl. You can get one of these on Amazon. I got this out of my husband's uh, workshop. I'll put a link to a similar one on Amazon. They're about four bucks. You'll need your crochet hook for your yarn, a pair of scissors. Believe it or not, these scissors worked to cut my jeans better than this pair that I had brought from the kitchen. And then something white, a piece of soap or something. I used a pencil just to mark my jeans where I'm going to puncture the holes and a ruler. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the bottoms of my jeans just to wear to the length I would like them. Keeping in mind, I'm going to crochet a certain amount below them. And I put both the legs together like this, so I'm cutting the same exact amount off on each side. Make sure they're laying flat. There we go. And then I will get my scissors and just cut. Now you can measure each leg and do it, or you can do what I'm doing here. And you can also draw a straight line, but I'm not so concerned about it being exactly straight. Sorry about that, I just kicked it. And hopefully your scissors are a little sharper than mine. And you're just going to cut 
that across. This is the funniest thing. My little scissors here work so much better <laughs> than these big kitchen ones. I think I need to sharpen them. This cuts right through. Okay, there we go. And you never know when you can use some denim in your project, so you might want to save those. All right, so now I have my jeans cut off. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to mark where I'm going to puncture the holes along this edge. And I want to stay pretty close to the edge so that when I'm crocheting, I don't have, you know, my hole back here and I'm stretching the yarn around. I'm going to keep it pretty close to the edge. And I know that my edge is not straight, but I thought that would be kind of a fun look, but totally up to you if you want a more straight edge, just make sure you cut a more straight edge. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, I would like my holes fairly close together. So every, I'm gonna say quarter of an inch, I'm gonna mark, I'm using a white pencil, you can use soap, you can use whatever you like. And I'm just gonna go like this and mark all along the edge like that. Oh, missed one. Okay. So you can do that as far apart as you like or as close together as you like, totally up to you. I just thought it would look nicer if the holes were closer together. And I'll turn it over and do the same thing. So I know I have one along this edge right there. So I'm gonna just turn it over and do the same thing. Since it's on the edge, it'll be about a quarter of an inch away from this. Okay, so there's one on that edge. So it's about a quarter inch from that edge. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the awl and I'm gonna make a hole right where my mark is. I pull it all the way up so the hole's big enough for my yarn to get through. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. It goes through very easily, as you can see. One thing I did want to mention is you want to try to keep your holes pretty much along the same line. You don't want one up here and then one down here, or maybe you do for your design. But in any case, I'm keeping mine all along the same line. So I'm going to start right next to my seam with my yarn. I'm going to put my crochet hook through my first hole here. And I'll just pull my yarn through. And chain to attach. And I'm going to tie a knot back here. Just so my yarn stays put. All right, now I'm just going to go into each hole with my hook and pull up my yarn and do a single crochet. I'm going to do that all the way along the edge. And the good part about this single crochet is it will help stop your jeans from praying because it will be, it'll create an edging and it makes a nice little zigzag design. So you want to do that all the way around and then I will meet you back for the next row. Okay, so as I finish that round, I am simply going to slip stitch into my first single crochet there. There we go. So now you can see I have the edging done. 
And all I'm going to do is chain two. We're going to start the next round. And all I'm going to do is put a double crochet in each stitch around. This is where it gets easy. This is where you're simply crocheting. And I'm going to show you the pattern that I did to get this look. But do whatever you like. Okay, so I find the double crochets all the way around, make a good base. So keep doing that and I will meet you at the end of the round. All right, so I'm coming around to the end here of this round. I'll just put in my last few double crochets. And then when I get to the end, this is my beginning chain two. I'm going to go into the second chain and I'm just going to slip stitch to close that round. And there we go. So there is my round of double crochets. That's looking pretty. I really love the sparkle in this yarn for this. Okay. Now for the next round, I knew that I wanted it to flare out a little bit. So I wanted to add stitches. So my next round here, I'll show you what I did, but it just created a little bit of a flare, which I liked. Okay, so to start my next round, I'm just going to again chain two. Now in the next stitch here, I'm going to do one double crochet, one triple, so I wrap the yarn twice, into the same stitch, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and then one double again. So wrap the yarn once and pull through two and pull through two. So that's three stitches, a double crochet, a triple crochet, and a double. Then I'm going to skip my next chain and into the next one I'm going to do the same thing. A double crochet, a triple. Every once in a while, it just slips off. There we go. And a double. Then skip the next chain, the next stitch, and I'm going to do the same thing again. A double crochet, a triple. and a double, all into that same stitch. And you can see the pattern starting to form there. And I'm gonna do that all the way around. So a double crochet, a triple crochet, a double crochet in one stitch, skip the next stitch, and then do the same thing in the next. And I'm gonna do that all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so I'm coming around to the end here. I just did my three stitches, I'm going to skip a chain and do the same three stitches here. A double crochet, a triple, and another double. Then I would skip this next chain and I already have the two chains here where I started. So I'm going to do a double crochet and a triple into that same stitch there. And then that will end it with that two chain, those two chains, which will create the three stitches. Now you may not have the exact same number of stitches as I do. Now I'm just gonna go into that top chain there and slip stitch. So if you don't have the same number, just kind of fudge it, it's on the seam if you started the same place I did, so you won't see it. Now for the next round, what I wanted was to just have like this little lacy effect that created an, a nice edge. So what I'm gonna do here is from this point, I'm going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, I'm going to skip this first set of stitches and I'm going to attach to the center, the triple crochet of the next cluster. 
just with a slip stitch like that. Then chain five, three, four, five. And I will attach again to the triple crochet of the next cluster with a slip stitch. And I'm just gonna do that all the way around. Two, three, four, five. Going into the middle stitch here, the triple crochet and slip stitching. So that's creating my little edging there. And do that all the way around. I'll meet you back. Okay, I'm coming to the end of the round. I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Attach to the triple crochet of the next cluster. There we go. And then I'm just going to pull in and slip stitch and cut my yarn. All right, there we go. And there is the edging. How pretty is that? Okay, so I have both of the legs finished and my husband suggested, which I thought was a good suggestion, to do something up top to tie in with it. So I'm just gonna do a little trim around the pocket which I did on one pocket already. And basically all I'm doing is the same thing I did in the beginning of the bottom of the leg. I'm gonna mark off a quarter inch all the way around, use my awl to go through the holes, and then attach my yarn and just do a single crochet along the edge, which is the first row we did in the round around the bottom of the leg. Here I've marked quarter inch all the way around. And then I'm just gonna start now. The all has to go through the jean and the pocket, you'll see, just like that. But it's still so easy. And again, just doing the same thing all the way around, making sure not to go through this part of the jean. So I hold the pocket up, that's all, like that. Try to go right along the edge of the seaming. And keep doing that all the way around. Okay, and now that I have put my holes in, I'm just gonna start in my first one here. Pull my yarn through. And chain to attach and I'm going to again tie my yarn here double knot just make sure it stays and then I'm just going to go into each hole around oops <laughs> got to remember to stay in the camera okay let me do this again I'm going to go into each hole around pull up a loop and make my single crochet and that's it that's all i'm going to do for the pocket you can do again whatever you like i am looking forward to seeing your designs in the crochet until now sometimes it's almost like my jeans are self-healing i have to re-poke the hole just to see where it is and then go into it, and there we go. That makes it a lot easier. So I'm gonna continue this all the way around the pocket, and we'll meet you back here. Okay, and here we are at the end of the pocket. Now, depending on how tightly you pull your stitches, your stitch might be down like this. So I had to kind of loosen mine up a bit. So you wanna keep that in mind when you're doing your stitching. Now I'm just going to end this right here and tie in my ends. Oh my goodness, how cute do these look? I am so excited. All right. I'm gonna go try them on. Okay, I hope you found that tutorial helpful and I hope it got your creativity going. I can't wait to see how all of you make this project your own. 
please, when you do these projects from Crochet the Runway, please send in pictures. I really wanna see and share your ideas with everybody. So please, if you are making any of these projects from Crochet the Runway, send pictures to me at my email address, frannysquare at gmail.com so I can show them during Crochet and Tell and we can get inspiration from one another. Also, if you see some things on the runway or things for sale in stores that you would like to adapt to a crochet project, list your ideas in the comments below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own and I'll see you soon.